We can't compare God's wrath to our wrath. And so the first thing we need to do is, uh, in our right thinking and our right understanding is know that God's wrath is very different from what we consider wrath in the world that we live in. God, we have a tendency to lack wisdom in this area, but God does not lack wisdom in any area. Scripture tells us that when we allow our anger to lead us to sin, we have gone against this very scripture and the, and the words that God teaches us. So I think, we've, I think we've got it, right? I think we understand uh, our gone wrongness when it comes to anger and it comes to wrath. So what I'd like for us to do is to talk now and look to God, okay? What are some biblical truths about the wrath of God? What are some biblical truths about God and, and what, what is it, is it okay to ever be angry? Are we supposed to never ever be angry about anything? I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm not mad. Or are there things in this life that are meant to make us angry? And so there's a few biblical truths I wanna share with you. It's not an exhaustive list, just a few. And the first one is that God's wrath is just. It's, it's just. There are things in this world that are happening, that we see and we hear and sometimes we even participate in, that if they didn't make God mad, he wouldn't be God. If they didn't break the heart of God and anger the heart of God, then God wouldn't be God. God's wrath is just. And so we can understand that we'll have a better chance of a right thinking about the wrath of God. God's wrath is his love in action against sin. 